We're pleased to be joined now by the director of the Catholic Community Response Team located in Pontiac, Michigan. Barb Williams is on the Michigan Megacast. Barb, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate I'm happy to be here. Yeah, appreciate having you on the program with us. So first, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Catholic Community Response Team and the ways that it serves the community in Pontiac and surrounding areas? Okay, well, the Catholic Community Response Team, we've been here for 18 years and we do uh, basically emergency services for vulnerable persons, uh, things like solving their eviction problems and helping with utility bills, identification documents. So that's uh, anything that applies to their basic needs, food, clothing, shelter, utility payments, those sorts of things. <clears throat> uh, what communities are supported by the response team? Of course, Pontiac is where you're located, but do you serve communities beyond that? Our mission has always been focused on Pontiac. Pontiac, as you know, has a uh, what, one of the highest, if not the highest poverty rate in Oakland County. Um, so the churches that formed us uh, 18 years ago uh, all surround the Pontiac community. So our mission, not only to serve the Pontiac community, but to build a bridge between communities such as Rochester, Waterford, Auburn Hills, Lake Orion, that we can kind of build support back and forth using time, talent, and treasure to um, help the Pontiac community. Can, uh, can you give us a little bit of a look into the history of the organization? When did it begin, and what ultimately was that spark that ult that uh, that made the Catholic Community Response Team rise in Pontiac? Yeah, well, you know, we started 2004, and of course, when we opened the doors, it was really just handling referrals. So we didn't have a big budget. We were just really here to disseminate information, uh, try to connect citizens with various St. Vincent de Paul and other resources that might be able to solve their problems. But over time, we realized we had to do much more than that. And so we really rallied our churches and our parishioners and of course, it spread from there to uh, many social groups and other nonprofits to build a collaboration to really uh, boost the uh, situation here in Pontiac. We've got a new government now, um, and the, there's lots of jobs out there, so we're really excited about the future. But over time, when we started helping people just with their evictions and their food and their utilities, we really um, said we need something more we need something to offer the citizens so i think our big catalyst if you will was starting to offer a program called getting ahead which tried to move people and does move people from poverty to self-sustainability um, it's a 16 work 16 week workshop uh, we have one running right now over at united wholesale mortgage sports complex uh, with about 15 students in it, and they investigate poverty, they investigate how it impacts their community, and they investigate the resources that will help them move forward. So a lot of our help starts with just one person who comes in who's being evicted because they had a one-time problem. They had a big car repair and it made them unable to pay their rent this month. But some people wake up every day and day after day and week after week. And they're what we call just living in the tyranny of the moment. And they're trying to solve their problem for the day, whether it's paying their rent, paying their utilities, putting food on the table. So for people who live just spinning kind of in the tyranny of the moment, we really recommend our Getting Ahead program. And I think that's the program that really catapulted us into more exposure and more meaningful um, commitment to the city. We're joined by Barb Williams, the director of the Catholic Community Response Team located in Pontiac, joining us on the Michigan Megacast. They are one of nearly 300 Shared Detroit supported charities and nonprofits in the southeastern Michigan area. Learn more information by visiting sharedetroit.org, where you can look up information on the Catholic Community Response Team and other organizations uh, impacting our community as well. So you mentioned one of your pro one of your key programs in the Catholic Community Response Team over there. Uh, what is what are some of the other programs, events, and initiatives uh, that are ongoing or will be ongoing in, in your organization that benefit the Pontiac community? 
Okay, so ongoing uh, immediate services we provide food, clothing, identification documents. If you don't have your birth certificate, your driver's license, a state ID card, you can't get a job. Uh, personal grooming items, cleaning items for the home. Those are items that aren't covered by food stamps. So we try to supplement uh, families that need those items. Longer term things would be preventing eviction. Preventing evictions help build stable communities so we don't have turnover in the community all the time. Um, security deposits for people coming out of homelessness. Um, we help with their security deposit, a one-time expense. And we also offer furniture. We provide furniture for the home, new beds for the children, um, and get them set up. We run a furniture bank as well. And then our special in programs, besides the Getting Ahead program, uh, we do uh, back to school uniforms, back to school clothing and supplies. We uh, distribute Thanksgiving about for the last five years, we've done over 1,500 Thanksgiving turkey baskets. Uh, we do Christmas baskets, we uh, participate in early literacy programs with Great Start Collaborative in Oakland County. Uh, we have a bike program that provides people bikes to get back to work, people coming, returning from the Michigan Department of Corrections who need transportation. Um, so it's quite extensive, you know, what we try to fulfill the needs of whatever it is that people need coming out. A lot of our funding also comes from private donations. So we're not limited to um, government funding, which a lot of times has a lot of specifics attached to it. Specific income, specific qualifications, specific eligibility. Our funding is mostly uh, through private donations and, and foundations. And so we have a little more latitude in the types of problems that we can help with. We're joined by Barb Williams, the director of the Catholic Community Response Team, one of nearly 300 shared Detroit-supported charities and nonprofits in southeastern Michigan. Joining us on the Michigan Megacast, more information on Shared Detroit's website at shareddetroit.org. Barb, if people are in need of some of the services or uh, help from the initiatives of the Catholic Community Response Team in Pontiac, what are some ways that they can go about uh, seeking those services from your organization? Okay, well, all they really need to start is a phone call. So they can call our office. Uh, they can contact us through our Facebook page, through a Facebook message. Uh, they can uh, contact us through our uh, website, ccresponseteam.weebly.com, and fill out a form on that website, whatever they need help with or are looking for assistance uh, with. So numerous ways, the Share Detroit website, they can uh, connect with CCRT on the Share Detroit website. So it's, we're easy, only a phone call away, very easy to contact. And they just basically touch base and then we do an extensive interview in the, initially to um, look at their total situation, what they're, and try to assess and make decisions on how we can be of service, how we can help them move forward. The website again, ccresponseteam.weebly.com. That's ccresponseteam.weebly.com. The phone number for the Catholic Community Response Team in Pontiac is 248-491-9621. That's 248-491-9621. Uh, Barb, what are some of the key ways that this moment in time that the community can help your organization continue to provide its services to those in need in Pontiac? Okay, well, obviously there's always cash donations are always accepted and, and used wisely. Um, we're very proud of our um, frugalness here. So uh, cash donations, but there are a lot of other ways too. For instance, we put out on our Facebook page that we're distributing Easter baskets and many local churches in the area answered the call and provided 20, 50, 70 Easter baskets. Uh, we do the same with back to school. We reach out to our network of churches and organizations um, to provide, to help us provide these uh, school uniforms. And we have great response with that. If you're a Girl Scout leader or Boy Scout troop and you'd like to do a toiletry drive, uh, we would love to give you a list of toiletries that our uh, families need and uh, put packs together for that. So. Uh, there are many ways that people can reach out to us that are not just cash donations. 
uh, through volunteering. We have volunteer openings, uh, help with our office scheduling, um, answering the phone. We are almost a 100% volunteer organization. We only have three part-time employees actually. So uh, that's why I say any donations that come into us really do go directly to the clients because very low overhead, only three part-time personnel. Uh, and most of our work is done by volunteers who are trying to live out their faith and uh, in mission in service to others. So volunteering in the office, volunteering with our furniture bank, volunteering uh, with driving, uh, distributing our food and clothing. Um, through COVID now we've had to change, so we do all home deliveries now of our food and clothing. So um, make some drivers. We're joined by Barb Williams, the, the director of the Catholic Community Response Team located in Pontiac with us on the Michigan Megacast. More information on their website, ccresponseteam.weebly.com. That's ccresponseteam.weebly.com. You can also get in contact with them by calling their phone number at 248-499-9621, 248-499-9621, or sending an email to ccrt at ccrt-pontiac.com. Dot org. CCRT at CCRT-Pontiac.org. Barb, uh, anything else about the organization that would be important for our audience to know at this time or anything else we haven't discussed today about the Catholic Community Response Team? Well, I, the other just point I'd like to make is that we do collaborate with a lot of other groups in the area. Uh, we're a community navigator for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. So for people who just need to get online to their bridge card or review their food stamps or file a request for assistance. Uh, we do that right in our offices here. We participate with the Michigan Department of Corrections Steering Committee for returning citizens to Oakland County, uh, trying to get them, uh, those who don't have a lot of family support and are recently released, uh, trying to get them clothing and uh, documents food to get them kind of somewhat situated when they're first released. Um, and then we work with the Regional Chamber of Commerce here in Pontiac as well, in terms of workforce development. Uh, we find our Getting Ahead program really speaks to workforce development in people who are have been out of the job market for a while or have never really entered the job market so that they uh, are stable enough to hold a job. Because as you know, a lot of people can get a job they struggle to hold the job. So we find going through our Getting Ahead program and feeling that they have more stability in their lives sometimes helps with those first jobs. Barbara, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.